<laughs> Strangers in the night. What the fuck is this shit on my eye? Oh, I'm becoming invisible. <laughs> No signal? She's unfuckable. Insurmountable. Shoop, shoop, shooby. Shoobadi. No, la 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 Deutsch, guten Tag, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Willkommen zu Bergsteigen Tod im Schnee. <lacht> Ladies and Elephants, welcome to Insurmountable. Death in the snow. Okay, we've got three characters. Adventurer. Okay, I don't literally don't care. I'm gonna pick the adventure. You, you've you dived down into the briny depths of the oceans in search of lost treasure, researched long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforests and unearthed ancient ruins in endless deserts. No adventure was ever big enough for you and nothing ever got in your way, except for your mom's schlonger. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now a new challenge awaits you. A remote island long concealed behind a blanket of fog. A mountain range of which there is no record and peaks that tower into the heavens just waiting to be scaled. This is the stuff of adventure's dreams and your chance to get your name in the history books. Oh, the history books. Yeah. So you'll be like in the history books like Billy. You know, he was one of the 10,000 of people that died on Mount Schlonger. He's somewhere under the snow, and if we're lucky, in a couple hundred years, we'll recover his his bones. He'll maybe he's still intact. He'll be some he'll be somewhere under the snow like this. And then they'll recover him. They'll be like, "Oh, we got this. Uh, I don't know who this is. Disgusting dude. Let's burn it before it before it stands up again." Difficulty, uh, you need to complete the ascent with this character on normal. Okay. That makes it easy, challenging, but doable. Yeah, so, what do you mean doable? So this one, the bigger, the, the next challenge is not doable? Okay. Um, attention, this choice cannot be changed. Oh, oh shit. Wait, let me pick the one with the lock, right? Oh no. Okay. Wait, warning. Oh, this choice cannot... Okay, ah, shit, I want to pick another one. Ah, I can't, okay. We got a choice of three mountains. Scale the first summit, but remember, you won't have the best of the mountain until you are safely back at the base. Oh! Okay, I like this. I like this. This is realistic, you know, because if you make it to the top, you still have to, you know, you... you you're not going to live on the top forever, right? You're going to have to go back down and many people died on the way back down. And some of them went like, all oh, right, I made it, dude. This is so awesome. Let's go back down. Oh, oh. All right, fun's over. We're going to start the game now. I'm going to remove this fucking thing. Ah, okay. Um, we'll pick the route. Warm nights. The nights on this route are warmer than usual. Uh, rough terrain. Second one. Sturdy rock. Stur stony terrain provides better grip on this route. Better grip. So warmer nights, better grip. Bam. Or the last one. Unusual phenomena. This route holds many discoveries. Ghosts. All right, the terrain is very challenging. The terrain is very challenging. The terrain is very challenging. It's the same three times. So we get to choose between warm nights. Uh, better grip or ghosts. <laughs> um, I think we're going to go with the better grip. We have the tent to warm up. 
I hope that wasn't a bad decision. Made the game a little bit quieter. A little bit quieter. You know what? This is not optimal. There we go. Sorry for the loud music. <clears throat> As you stand at the base of the mountain, looking up at the summit, you sense that adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map for all those years? Uh, are the rumors about the group of unknown occupiers true? And who are the people that live here? As much as you would like to know, your most burning desire is to be the first to scale the summit. That's why you're here, risking your life. So this guy is particularly intelligent. You can tell that right away. Camera control. Scale, hold the middle mouse button. Okay. Click with the left mouse button on an available tile to add a marker. With a right click, you remove. Literally have to click through then 10 of these pages and remember everything. With a right click. What, what, what if I do a wrong click? Remove the last marker set. Stone terrain, high energy and time cost. Oh no, depend on the equipment and skills. Uh, what is this? The danger? Snowy terrain, increased energy cost for movement, danger. What do you mean? Unpredict what, what is the danger here? It looks like there's lots of little rocks. Uh, this is ice. Okay. Events. There are various types of events that can occur on the mountain. If you step on a field with such a marker, an event gets triggered. Okay. Uh, red is health. Yellow is energy. Purple is sanity. Oxygen. Oh, no. There's oxygen. And body temperature. And XP. This is the XP. Duh. When a stat reaches zero, your status is critical when a stat. You can see in the path review where you will definitely hit the critical status. If you continue to climb in this condition, you will face dangerous critical events. Careful if your health reaches zero, it's over. Once your experience reaches a certain treasure hold, you can level up. You can choose between multiple skills. Normal weather. Energy cost increased with rain. Body temperature loss. Energy cost of climbing. Hang on. Okay, we got we got like people working at the neighbor's house. I hope you can't hear it. Chip, it the, the microphone should mute all background noises, so you should be fine. I am annoyed. Oh. You want to hear it? Oh. Never mind. It's to get inside the house. Events challenge you to make difficult choices with various outcomes. Careful, when time passes in an event, you might gain or lose stats like a body temperature based on the conditions on a mountain. Ugh. Sleeping is a good way to restore energy. While you are not moving, you can sleep anytime by clicking on the sleep button. But sleeping without a tent can severely lower your body temperature, especially in cold weather. Sometimes you can find a place in a cave to look up for the cave events. Okay, can we start now? Can we start now? Can we start now? Oh shit, it's too cold. Oh my god, it's way too cold. Oh, brr. Boo, ma. Ooh, oh. Ooh, shit. Shit. Oh, it's, oh, it's 3D. So it says hexagonal tiles on which you move, right? Um... This one has 24 hours cooldown. That's not good. So how, how do we... And we just click on a tile and then we move, huh? I mean... Environment... Equipment. Climbing gloves. Interesting. What if we want to go here or here? Oh, I can't click anything else. I think this is a girl, right? Let's assume her gender. We're gonna go and assume her. Get assumed. 
Wait, I don't want to rest. I don't know what the, where that exactly is. I think here, right? That's an event. Let's go. Girl, go. Go, move. Move, go. Double click. I'm a lumberjack and I'm alright. I sleep all night and I work all day. wonder what that's going to be. Two heads talking, smashing together. We're going to find somebody to smash our head together. Catch You catch a whiff of a, a whiff of a tantalizing fragrance in the breeze. You follow your schnauzer, which leads you to an indigenous man standing in front of a ramshackle hut. His schlonger out going, hey, what's up, babe? Uh, no. Um, a mysterious a brew bubbling away in his brewing kettle as it sits over an open fire. The scent alone is invigorating. What sort of effect might he brew? Might the brew have on you if you were to take a sip? I approach the stranger and ask for taste. I sneak up on the kettle and steal some of the brew. I continue my journey. Yeah, let's um we'll how, how we we lose two hours? Okay, we don't need anything, but um, let's ask for a taste. When the stranger notices you, he beams. Before you stand, before you can say anything, he dips a ladle into the kettle and offers you a sample of the brew. And that's not all. He plucks a few herbs hanging from a nearby drying line and offers them to you as well. You are overwhelmed by the, this hospitality, but you feel like you can't accept both. You don't want to seem greedy. So this one, hang on, this one gives us XP and energy. And that one gives us XP and I think against insanity, right? We're gonna, we're gonna go with uh, insanity her because I don't know what to expect of the insanity. I don't know how it's gonna work. And this way we have like one ace up our sleeve. You know, when we'll, when we'll be like, you know, when we're going crazy, we can use the herb, like... <laughs> ah, okay, now I'm good. <clears throat> I mean, that's... yeah. <laughs> Choose your specialization. Flat terrain expert. Uh, do 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 Exploring the mountain for too long threatens your sanity. Oh, strong energy efficiency on flat terrain. Uh, so this one, reduce energy cost on all terrain. Also, duration, oh, it's a buff. Master climber, strong at climbing fast, direct routes to the summit. Taking the direct path might take make you miss out on events and experience. Comfort of home, consumables expert. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some sanity. Um, explore, steep climb. Right, let's go with the exploration. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Would it would it be the thing that you would have picked as well, or would you have picked something else? Comment now in the comments. I would have, you know, I would have stayed at home and played computer games. And then after we played games, I would have played with my schlonger for a couple of hours. And then I would have gone to bed and then wake up the next morning and repeat. Uh, does, I wonder if this counts as climbing. I guess it does, right? But it's like a super short climb. So this is, I guess this is the climbing part, right? Let's see if this changes. Oh, the environment doesn't change. I don't know what this is, an obelisk. Let's 
No, no. I think we're stuck. We fell into the rock. What the hell? What the hell? This is not good. Okay, that saved us. Boom, go. Don't fall into the rock. And an eagle, a golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying its majestically, it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain... Um, how is there... Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. This one is experience, right? This is warmth. This is sanity. We can choose, just choose between the two. And I think warmth is a bit... bit a bit, little bit. No, I think warmth is at maximum, isn't it? Plus zero. We regain some sanity. Treasure. I need the treasure. After all, we're an explorer. We pick the exploring trait, so... We can explore. I don't think we can. We're supposed to explore everything, though. Right? I mean, the game says you will go insane if you explore everything. I wonder if I... If it, if it bugged the game because I clicked help while she was climbing. Time lapse toggles the speed in which the player moves. Are there how many speeds are there? Two. I'm, I'm guessing two. A thin wisp of smoke rises up into the sky in front of you. You turn a corner around the wall of a cliff and discover a campfire. Flames already licking your butt cheeks until they're all wet and slippery. And then comes a yeti out of the cave with its shlonger out, and you're like, ah! Oh! Um, <clears throat> no, so that didn't happen. Um, licking, and <laughs> it's not licking her butt cheek, cheeks, it's licking the sides of the cans. The flames are licking. Oh, okay. Um, so what should we do here? We're losing a little bit. Uh, we gain, wait, I collect snow to put out the fire. No, I stamp the fire. I do nothing. Why should we? Why do we... What? Outcome is... Out, if we st So, if we collect snow to put out the fire, there's no outcome. If we do nothing, then nothing happens either. We just lose, lose the warmth here. And if we stomp on the fire, I guess we just... We might start burning, right? We'll just leave it. So, we have the mountain peak is up there, huh? Wow, that is the holy guacamole of mountains, dude. Um, all right, let's plan a route. Let us plan a route, a route, the route, and the, the route persons. I think the cave, uh, we want to go to the cave, do some exploration there. Um, let us move over there. And once you're, um, once you're walking, once you have clicked and then confirmed the movement, you can't change it. It's for bottom. We're losing energy. We're like half energy. I see. So if this if this little green line turns red, then it means we would run out of the energy. 
I guess, right? Can we abort this? I wonder if we can abort it. Let's activate the sprinting thing. Uh, this one? Oh, we can't. I guess when you're moving, you can't do anything. You can just watch. Uh, stops the player movement. Oh, wait. Oh, this stops the... Oh. Oh, so this is how you stop. Okay. We stop them. We can speed them up. Sleep, inventory. Alrighty then. We'll go to the to this cave. We're almost there. Uh, here. And we'll sleep in the cave. Maybe we'll find some treasure. Some loot. So the girl without a tent could also just sleep in the cave. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. Um, I explored the tunnel. You want to explore the tunnel, but it's too dark that you can see your hands in front of your face. You are missing torch. Uh, I, 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 I don't go into the darkness. I, I changed my mind. I don't have a torch. I don't want to go. After a while, your hands find an object on the ground and it feels unusual. I explore, explore the object with my hands. An old but well-preserved chest behind the ledge. You open it and find some herbs. Uh, okay. We got some, some more sanity herb. I lie down and sleep. Sleep briefly. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> sleep long. Sleep briefly. Sleep long. We're sleeping long. And we'll sleep through the night. We'll wake up in the morning. Seems good. Oh, yeah. Here is a... Here is my sprinting thing. I'm just going to keep covering it up, I guess. Here's the ability where I can move faster. Oh, no. We have a snowstorm. Um, wait, what is that eye over there? Yellow is danger, huh? And here would be a safe route. I think here would be the safe... The safe route. Here's the dangerous route. And we, we're a flat terrain expert, so we're gonna go this way here. Go! Go, girl, go. You can do it. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Alrighty then. Let's go for the inca. Oh, shit. This is yellow again. So how do we... Okay, we have no choice, so... Huh? Might as well go here. Please make it. into a dark cave in the rock face. You are met with an overpowering stench of death and decay. In the back of the cave, you can just make out the bulky shape of something enormous, probably an animal carcass. As you turn to leave, you hear a faint whimper. You venture into the mouth of the cave where you discover a bear cub looking at you with terrified eyes. Ah, fuck. How do we help? Uh, we're gonna help it. You cautiously extend a hand towards the cup. It approaches you and sniffs your fingers. Just as you reach up to pet it, it snaps at you. You jerk your hand back. The cup flinches and retreats into the cave, disappearing into the darkness. Your hand is bleeding. The bite isn't very deep, but it's painful. Yeah, what kind of idiot is this guy? Oh, it's a little bear cub. Oh, here, 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 cub. Take it. 
take a bite. If you help it, you drop some food maybe and then leave, you know? You don't help it by touching it. Okay, we lost some health. Uh, we gained sanity. At least it wasn't all negative. Significantly reduce it and reduce energy on all terrain. Spend more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Um, yeah, this one. Light step two. Boom. We're fast. We're the fast and the furious. Without the furious part, we're just fast. Um, so let's see the top. Looks dangerous. Do we have to climb that snowy thing? We do. We do have. There's no other way. Let's go see what's here. Please don't die. Don't die, girl. night soon fortunately there's caves all over the place huh not that we need one boom steps have been hewn into the stone leading you to a pedestal of sorts some type of religious site or shrine maybe you're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels ho horn horny. <laughs> it feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you prayed to the shrine for... Oh. For energy. Oh, no. It's dark. It's super dark. All right, well, I just want to make it to the top, okay? That's really important for me. Um... If I make it to the top, then you can't, so you can't move the camera around. That's, that's an annoying thing. It's only, it's always centered on the character. You can zoom in or out, but you can't like go over there and see what's there and then select the route. Um, yeah. And if we make it to the top, then wait, let's use this one, the skill, make us move faster. And go. Then we'll unlock the next mountain. Oh, shit. A wide crevasse is blocking your way. There's a snow bridge that you could use to cross it, but you're not certain that it is stable. So this one, we lose a lot of temperature and time. We're just going to go over it. We're fast. We better go fast. After a few steps on the snow bridge, the snow gives away. You hit the other side of the crevasse hard, but manage to catch your fall. Boom shakalaka. We did it. We can go for a little nappy in here. Little nappy time. I'm playing like I don't have a tent. I don't know if it's smarter to use a tent. Or to just go into a cave. Uh, we're gonna sleep right now. We're gonna sleep long until dawn. We're gonna sleep long. Um, let's explore this. No, it's a little bear cup. Do you want to help it? Yeah. Ow! Golden Eagle stands in front of you. Oh, wait. Is there sanity? Oh, no. Our sanity is fine. Warmth is even better. Let's recover some sanity. Yup, 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 yup. Um, there's two treasures. So, I think either we picked it. I think I'm going to have to we'll go this route. Pick the two treasures. I'll ignore this event. Probably just another bear cub who wants a slice of our finger. We need we need all our fingers. You know the the, the climbers, the, the mountain climbers that like climbed the Mount Everest, the Himalayan mountains and all those really cold mountains, they 
regularly like lose fingers and toes from the cold i mean it's not a, pri a price that i want to play i mean imagine playing computer games that you're like missing fingers you're like oh shit i can only oh crap oh how do i play this game your your game playing days will be over after that come across i mean unless you have like there's options but they're annoying right i mean rather have fingers than if you can choose but maybe do an adventure where you don't lose limbs <laughs> maybe maybe you come across the remnants of a wall a weathered stone wolf's head stares at you with lifeless eyes um we lose one hour we'll lose no no we'll continue our journey i literally don't care about it. i just want to make it okay if we oh that's where the top is and then we need to make it back down too as you climb along a crevasse in a glacier you see an oxygen bottle together with an oxygen mask buried under a thick layer of ice the bottle seems to be intact um I use a stone to break the ice. Should we dig? Let's dig. Let's not do something. I feel if I start smashing the ice, it might crack everywhere and then we fall down. You can barely feel your fingers, but it doesn't stop you from digging. The cold creeps up your butt cheeks. Now, that's actually the part that's probably stayed warm for a long time between your butt cheeks is warm and smelly and then your chest finally you feel the smooth oxygen bottle in your hands okay that was i think that might have we will probably need it later might have been a very 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 smart 200 000 iq move which you know doesn't surprise anyone When I play games, I always do two million IQ moves, making everybody else look like idiots. It's just how I roll. This looks like, I'm not sure if this is the smart route though, honestly, it looks steep, but that one looks even worse. We don't have an ice pick. Okay, we got another cave. What time is it? We still got a couple of hours. We could do a little sleepy sleep, a, sh a sleep, sleep briefly. And then we'll uh, reduce time cost, additional body temperature when moving, time on all terrain. Okay, this is perfect. We'll activate this because we're cold. We'll activate this, we'll gain some warmth. And then, and then shit. Then we'll go up there and pray for the best. We have two exclamation marks on the way. Please don't die, girl. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Okay, we did it. Um, wasn't there like an objective somewhere here? Oh, a cave. It could go sleep in the cave. Or we could sleep in it. Let's sleep in the tent for once, right? We have one. Let's use it. Uh, sleep opens the sleep screen. Tent durability. Oh wait, we're losing durability if we sleep in a tent. We can sleep in it three times and then it spontaneously combusts. Okay, in that case, we will. Uh, we will stop with this over here. Yeah, we'll sleep in the cave. Sleep in the cave. Seems safe. I mean, not safe, but what's the English word? Um, pre... I should have chose, chose, you know. Pre precarious, pre not preemptive. The word where you're careful in advance. Yeah, that's what what I mean. Uh, you notice a strong smell. No, we're just gonna sleep, sleep long, and boom. 
Hey, we're losing temperature. Why are we losing temperature? Damn it. Okay, we can't choose right or left. Hey. That looks icy. And it's lo it looks like it's gonna... Okay, we're gonna go this way. Yeah. We don't have an ice pick. And I think, you know, in, in the real world, if you, if you want to climb a mountain and then you have no ice pick, that would be extremely stupid. The air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. How oh, wonderful. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. I will ascend as quickly as possible. Before I ascend, I mend my wounds. I will take it slow. Decreased oxygen loss for a longer time. Decreased energy cost. Oh, well, I'll take it slow. Take it slow. Um, we have entered the death zone. What the hell? No bueno. Why can't we enter the life zone? Like the party zone, the survival zone. You entered the everything good zone. Nope, you can't have that. While moving through the rough, stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Crack! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Sorry, I'm gonna have to end the video. I just... I just cracked my ankle. <laughs> From sitting and doing nothing. Oh, we're not far from the top. From the tippity top. Where's our oxygen? It's fine. It's going down slowly because we picked the right option. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, is that your hand? Did you die here? Are you a ghost? Are there any ghosts here? Hello? Billy, speak to me. <laughs> um, a wrong game, sorry. Um, you reach a rocky hollow, half covered with glacial ice. As you carefully climb over the sheet of ice into the hollow, you come face to face with a pair of eyes staring at you. You breathe in sharply, the eyes are those of a woman who is almost completely... Are, are, are all of... Everybody's a woman? Okay. The eyes of... Uh, the eyes are those of a woman who is almost completely frozen into the ice. Only her face and the top of her torso are exposed. <laughs> Oh, a top of her torso. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, this guy is such a toxic YouTuber, you know? He made fun about, about fondling a dead corpse in the snow. That is so... That is so offensive, dude. It's offensive to dead people. You know? Oh, yeah, we gotta cancel him fast, dude. Because we are insane. They already they canceled their brain. The first thing they wake up in the morning, then they cancel their brains, and then they go on Twitter. Um, I free the corpse from uh, the ice. I examine the corpse. I continue my journey. So we examine it, we lose oxygen. We free it, we don't know. I don't think I would free her, honestly. I would examine her. It's a young woman. Looking through her eyes feels like sinking into a bottomless lake. Just what happened to her and why does she show no signs of decay? Yeah, because it's cold, Einstein. You shake off these thoughts as you feel a small pouch she's wearing around her neck. Carefully, you open the pouch before letting it slip from your fingers in disappointment. Empty. Okay, that was absolutely worth it. I love it. Um... Let's see. We are closing in. Closing, 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 bozing in. Why is this one shining? Is it? Oh, the obelisks are. I think they're always shining, huh? Okay, let's go have. Have at the. Let's go see what that is. We got an event. I think that is. And then we got a cave behind it. Move 
Put my camera back. Uh, you discover the remains of a mountaineer. His skin is gray and cold. Huh. Let's open his pants and see if it's gray and cold in there, too. <laughs> I thoroughly search the corpse. Minus sanity. I take a cursory look at his belongings. Minus sanity. Okay, let's search him thoroughly. You find a vacuum flask filled with tea. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks like a, a butt plug. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're good to go. I got the survival butt plug. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. Um, I feel... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's sleep. We need to sleep. We need to recover our energy. We recover a little bit of, of warmth. We lose oxygen. Fine. Good deal. Fair deal. We got... Remember, we got the oxygen bottle. So we found that one. If we didn't have it, we would be way more stressed. Um, let's activate the sprint. And then let's see. If we go straight to the top, which route does it give us? The one where we die. Okay, that is perfect. Uh, this route is more doable, apparently. This route, dangerous. This route, doable. Go! We're going to be exhausted after this. There's another cave over there. Wait, let's stop. Can you can you not stop? Can we change the route? Okay. Now that uses lots of energy. Oh wait, we still have the tent, right? The tent amendment, tent commandments. Now we have the ten, the tent. <laughs> Uh, the sleeping tent. The Ten Commandments. I have the Ten Commandments with me. I went climbing, you know? And I always carry, like, those ten heavy stone tablets with me. They're really helpful. You know, if I get bored, I want to read something. Yeah, and I just go naked and don't bring anything else because they're really heavy. And I need them with me. So we need, um, wait, let's go have a look over there. Little, little, little treasure, treasure. Fat loot. Let's grab us some fat loot. Oh, there's a cave. Okay, I didn't like that noise. In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here. Uh, I reflect and pay tribute to the dead. Okay, I search for clues. You carefully nudge the rocks with your boot. There's something there. You bend down and find some old but usable equipment. Another mountaineer must be buried here. We have lots of questions and no answers. Who were they? How did they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? I take the equipment. You ask the unknown climber for forgiveness. Wait, he's dead. What? I don't, I don't ask dead people for forgiveness. I would rather say thank you for, you know, for dying there. <laughs> but you are sure they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore, but you do. Okay, wait, 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 what? We lost lots of stuff. Oh, from the time we searched, we gained a sanity, I think an XP. Snow boots, yes. yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, equipment, left click and drive. So we can wear them anytime, right? It doesn't, because usually you don't want to have snow boots on. You don't want to wear snow boots on non-snow terrain okay so you can see the, uh, the the bars below like here if we have mouse over the hot tea 
it shows me how much temperature I would regain. How much energy the food would give me, how much sanity. And the oxygen gives me oxygen back, right? It doesn't give me full oxygen, so let's use it. Wait, let's use it. Yes. Should we use everything and just keep going? No, wait, we level up first. Level up first. Okay, choose your specialization. A night climber. Specialized in night... No. Specialized in moving through steep terrain. More efficient in events. So we're gonna go... Let's go with this master climber. Boom. We came so far. You don't want to die now, right? Energy is low. We could use the sleepy sleep. Let's go. Sleepy sleep and the sleepersons. Wait, we got another active talent. Let me show you. Boop. This one here, Master Climber. It's an active talent. Minus 40 energy cost on all terrain for three hours. Cooldown 24 hours. I'm gonna use that one soon. First we sleep. Sleep long, sleep schlong. We sleep with our schlonger out. That's why it's called sleep schlong. Um, oh, actually, you want to sleep with your schlonger in. You're going to lose too much temperature otherwise. Let's use the ability where we can climb faster. And then maybe... Let's see how this goes. It's doable, huh? It's doable without any dangers. Let's go. It's doable, doable. Do, do, do. Um, I don't regret getting this game. I like it. You know, in case you didn't care about my opinion, I'm gonna stuff it down your throat here. And if you don't like it, you're a pig. <laughs> you're a, a misogynistic, misandrist, sexist, toxic, racist, homophobic, everything a phobic. You know, you're you're literally a fascist. I'm just saying, you know, just just saying, in case you disagree with me, you're human filth. Dude, those people just ask to be made fun of. There's no other way. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile. And motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do as she suggests and regain. We want warmth. Alright, we're good to Gucci. That's the tippity top of the tip top of the tip top tip. And uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go here. I need. To, I just need to know what this is. I hope we can continue from there. I think we wasted a little bit of time. Oh wait, 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 wait! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, we use this. Boom. Then we continue. Remember, this is half time. This is not. Victory, okay? When we reach the top, it's not victory. It's half time. Half <laughs> We gotta climb down again. You enter an expansive cave. Countless stalactites. <laughs> Pits. Hang from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. I know something else that's longer than my arm, if you know, and it rhymes on longer. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. <laughs> the soothing, tinkling sound they make... Uh, da, 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 da. That soothing, tinkling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. Outcome is unknown. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back to the tenure of the first races of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything would endure this long. You two are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something that people will talk about for years to come. Oh, wait, we got some some sh some stuff back. Um, okay, now it's going to be critical. Can we reach the top? We can't because it turns it turns it turns red. We can't. We can't. We can't reach this. And then we have to use our tent. Imagine being here without the tent. You're the no, no tent girl. That would suck. Okay, now let's focus. Use the tent. You want to use the tent? Yes. 
sleep schlong. We're gonna sleep schlong. Ah, fuck, we're running out of oxygen, dude. Okay, we use the canned food. Use the... I think we're good. Can we make it with the canned food? We can make it with the can. We can make it energy-wise. Running out of oxygen, so... That is a thing. Right? If you run out of oxygen, you die. <laughs> you die. Your heart, your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. You savor the moment, and then you savor your schlonger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry about the schlonger jokes. Can't overdo it. It's not funny anymore if you do it too much, okay? Now the next couple of videos with maximum of one schlonger joke, okay? Maximum. It is yours and yours alone. Then you plant your flag. Those who come after you need to know what you've achieved. Because, because it's there. Because it's there. Level up. Open-minded. Increase the sanity game? No. Prevent critical interruption events. Spend some body temperature to increase oxygen. Yes! Spend some body temperature to increase oxygen. Breathing exercise. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, okay. Okay, we'll do this. And then we'll we'll do the tea. Increase temperature again. We don't have anything that gives us energy, unfortunately. Um, I need to get the fuck down from this mountain, dude. And not the fastest way. The fastest way is the worst way. We gotta get down the, the, the way we don't die. That's the best way. The way that you survive. Damn it, we're gonna run out of oxygen either way. We won't make it far. How to diggity dog. So if we go this way... This is the shortest route. Yeah. Damn it. Can we go? Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Oh, we can go there. Go here? No. Go here? No. Go here? No. Go here? Yes. Well, we can go here too. Okay, what if we go here and take a nap in there? A nappity nap and the nap persons. The thing is, um, oxygen is gonna go low from the nap. But I think down here we might get into the into get might get out of the death zone, huh? Sleep. Sleep for schlong. We're gonna sleep for schlong. We're gonna get some energy back. And go. Tick tock, tick tock. You know what time it is? It's time to sleep schlong. All right. So the fastest route. Boom. This is the route we're getting. Wait, we can't even get past this fucking thing. You gotta be kidding me, buddy. Buddy boy. Oh, that's how you do it. You, you go. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. I don't like this at all. I'm so close to making it and now I have to... to shiver me timbers. Literally from the cold weather as well. Wait, stop it, stop it, stop! There's a cave. But it doesn't, never mind. The cave doesn't help us. 
Because we can't sleep anyways. We can sleep in the tent. The, the sleeping is not the problem. The problem is the oxygen. Uh, we're gonna run out of it soonish. Soonish. We have no other choice but to sleep. But maybe, let's maybe eat a flower. Maybe eat a flower. Minus one health. What? Okay, let's not eat a flower. Sleep for schlong. We're out of oxygen. Sleep briefly. We're not out of oxygen. Uh, minus 21 oxygen. God damn it. Oh, in the night, minus five body temperature when resting and when sleeping. Should we sleep for long and then fuck it? It feels like it's insane to sleep for long. Let's sleep for short. We have a little bit of oxygen left. Need to go down, down, down. We're gonna be the next guy they're finding up there, like this. Frozen in the snow. With an expression of horror on her face. Wait, stop it, stop it! We can do the master climber. The master climber. Uh, where do we need to go? Oh, over here. Okay, master climber. Do 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna run out of oxygen any moment. Leave the death zone. The death. The death zone. I need to leave the death zone, dude. It's too deadly in the dead zone. It's just too deadly. We're running out of everything. Wow. Wow, dude. We're running out of oxygen and energy. No. Oh, he's still moving well out of energy. I mean, out of, I'm a, out of fucking oxygen. There's a long crevasse. Yeah, we don't have the time for this shit. Wait, we lose only heat. We don't lose uh, temperature. Walk around, no risky risky. No risky risky. Go down, girl. Girl, you need to go down. Oh, let's boom, get some oxygen back. Yes, yes, get some oxygen back. Where's the, where's our goal? I can't see it anymore. It's, it's hidden in the snow. Oh, it's over there. Is it over there? I think it's over there. Treasure, yeah. Yeah, we'll need a treasure, dude. I mean, if we get lucky, we can find some oxygen in... Oh! I painstakingly struggle. You're struck by a strange unease. You're surely you're exhausted. It's tempting to lie down here and sleep, but your unease grows with every step you take. Your doubts that you will ever reach your goal. Uh, I, I listen to my body. You close your eyes. You're not a machine, but perfectly synergy of muscles and tendons. Not invincible, but strong, strong and resilient. But your mind also needs to work to be one with the flesh. You visualize your blood flowing through your veins, cells dying and renewing themselves in eternal silence. You draw on strength from this. Okay. The first good news in a while. In a while. Can we get out of the dead zone, please? That would be, like, super cool. It would be super cool, dude. If we got out of the dead zone, that would be amazing. Amazing. Go. We're out of oxygen. We need to. We need to move. We can't just lay down and sleep. We're going to be sleeping with the fishes. Okay, we got hit by a rock on the torso. Minus one tit. It's fine. We have another one. Uh, 
Minus one boob. Are we still losing oxygen? Come on. I'm pushing through hell here. I'm walking here. Oh no, while moving through rough stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Okay, we have more ankles. Minus one ankle, minus one boob. Oh, we left the dead zone. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we're getting oxygen back. Oh, thank God. So I want to say we made it, but you know, maybe we, you know, let's get some energy back. We're not there yet, but we have more. We can sleep, okay? We're gonna sleep. Stop with this and open that. Okay. Sleep for schlong. We're getting some oxygen back, some temperature back, some energy back. That's what I want to do, and that's how, that's how I feel. Uh, in the night. We could do another sleep. Can we sleep? Tw oh, 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 oh! Wait, what? We saw, what? Use tent? Okay, use tent. We're gonna be like, we're gonna be an icicle in the morning if we use the tent. <laughs> Go! So we can, so you can select the direct route and then you can just stop here if you decide to change your, the way you're going, right? Noise, noise, noise. Noise, 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 noise. Stop it. And now we use this and we continue. Oh no, no! When climbing next to a flat crevasse, you lose your footing and start sliding down. After a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. I carefully let. I care. What? I quickly pull myself up the slope. I carefully let my self slide down the slope we lose lots of temperature that's that's horrible look at this we're gonna lose 40 degrees dude okay we'll lose the energy we'll have enough to make it oh we're making it the first try dude first attempt you reach a large sheltered area perfect for a rest obviously you would prefer to keep going to head towards the next summit right away. But that would be suicide. You just don't want to make it to the next. You don't just want to make it into the history books. You also want to be able to read them. The history books. Oh, the history books. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. That was... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you're dead, you can't read. That's the thing. And to make that happen, you need to go to gather your strength because one thing is for sure, the first climb costs you and the second one won't be any easier. Yeah, cool. Boom. Route two. Yes, we got the mountain one. Do 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 beep beep boop. Ba ba ba. Do 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 